baby, the finals begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and it has all come down to this 30 episodes of a Coliseum, just all out warfare. And we have our finalists. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it. Sabo as Lucy slash Luffy, Rebecca, Bart, Jesus from Blackbeard's crew, and Diamante, an executive from Do under Doflamingo. It's gonna be crazy. I'm not gonna waste much time. Let's hop into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. So how long will it take the audience to realize it's not Lucy whenever he can't stretch? <laughs> like he's so much taller now. <laughs> Bart. <laughs> I love Bart so much, man. There's so many characters I've already loved so much that have been introduced in this arc. It's actually incredible. Whee! There he is. Whee! <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus. Jesus Burgess. I mean, he's like him and Diamante are going to be the main opponents here. But good luck to you, Straw Hat. <laughs> The crazy thing is, we haven't even really seen Sabo's face. Like, we know it's him, but it's just teased us, and then he put on the outfit. Kind of shameless. I love you, Mr. Burgess! And there's Rebecca. Dude, I want to see Diamante so bad. It's gonna be interesting. I think Sabo should end up with the fruit, but we really don't know what'll happen. I feel like it won't go that way because that's the most likely seeming way and One Piece never goes how you predict it to. Oh my gosh, he finally actually coughed and lost his voice. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, Buddy's been shoutcasting for 30 episodes. There's the shot, the Ryu shot. I like the different arena too, how there's like sections out in the water now. He's not the Lucy I knew. I'm really curious how strong Sabo is. He gets a smoke machine, a fog machine, really? Oh my gosh. Like a walkout song? Oh, but is that a snail? Oh shoot. Does he have a microphone? Is that a mic stand? There is no way. He's a showsman. Oh my gosh. Does he sing? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, he's got to be insanely strong to be one of the executives. I'm not going to underestimate him, despite how goofy he may look or lighthearted. He's got the whole crowd on their feet. So is the microphone like his weapon? <laughs> Bang. Damn. He creepy for real. Hmm. He's got to have a devil fruit, I'm assuming. But what is it? This is it, baby. One of these people is walking away with a flare flare fruit. Diamante. Dude, he is so tall. Oh my gosh. He's taller than Burgess. That is kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Come on, Bart. And Sabo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love Bart. <clears throat> oh, what? Wait, why? You can't be serious. You can't be serious, bro. Are they padding? Or is this like an actual plot point? I feel like Diamante might throw them out. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I think we'll, we'll see what his power is. Maybe? Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's like a matador, yeah. Lock. What? What? It just turns into like a, a sheet? It's kind of like Bart's power, but with a cloak. Is that the steel cape? Oh. The ripple ripple fruit became a flag human? Any material flap in the wind. What? What the? And then he locks it in. That's kind of sick though. That's kind of sick. Damn. Oh my gosh. Drop of blood. Interesting. And he's got like this, this stature too. A special kind of fish for the final. Oh, but one drop of blood and they freak out. Oh my. Oh, it scared the others. They're giant. They're enormous. The thing about Diamante's power though, is like if he doesn't have a weapon, I guess it, could he do it to other people? And he does have his cape. Like if he's stripped of his weapons and his cape, like he, he's a little bit like less powerful. That is a big boy fish. So what's the point of the microphone? Oh, it's cause he's like, 
Oh yeah, he's like the organizer of the tournament. That's why. Right. He's like, that was sick, right? The attack fire is still in the ring. Hmm. I don't know if I like that though. I'd rather the fighters just fight. I guess it adds a more chaos element to the tournament. What? Never mind. That is so gas. He is an insane promoter. Genius promotion. Holy sh. No, uh, Diamante, I'm so sorry I say anything. That is content. He is a content god. The one who gets it and remains. To oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Content god. The thing is, our, so are Bart, Rebecca, and 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 and, and, and Sabo gonna team up? Here goes nothing. Now the question is also, what chaos occurs once this final battle is over? Despite whoever gets it, I mean, Diamante can't even take the fruit. I mean, he he would take it and probably give it to someone in the family, but he can't consume it himself. Like I said best odds are Sabo, but th things in One Piece do not go that smoothly. I mean, I, it would be cool if Rebecca got it. Bart can't have it. He already has one too. <laughs> but honestly, Bart would just give it to Sabo, quite frankly, since he knows how close Luffy is to him. He's basically Luffy standing. Oh, Jesus making the move. What's he going for? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Sabo's in action. This is crazy. How strong has Sabo gotten over the years? Are he's trying to lure a fish out? Yeah, he is. And it's the one with a one on it that has the flare flare fruit. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to analyze which one has it? <laughs> Dude, the barrier is so slick. Dude, this reminds me of when they were kids and they fought like these those giant animals. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a parallel to that, but it's kind of cool. Oh, he's stepping in. He just punches it. Oh, oh shoot. Oh my gosh. I want to see Diamante fight. Dude, I love Diamante's style so much. His whole character design. What does he mean? They're tools. Oh, okay. Meanwhile. Dude, I just, I love the design of the castle too. Everything in Dressrosa, man. It's so stylish. Oh, that's where they're going to come up. The secret tunnel. <laughs> Good stuff, Violet. Good stuff. Okay, I feel like they should take them off now. Like, it's just like holding them back. And they're also so much bigger. In front of the Rampart Tower, beneath the Royal Palace. I'm just like, stretch over the wall. Oh my gosh, they're still so low. There's another secret entrance? Pika. Yeah, we haven't seen Pika. Actually, last we saw Pika, he was just hanging out. Oh, there's... No way! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was saying last we saw Pika, he's just chilling in the throne room. I'm pretty sure. Luffy, Luffy, bro. Like, she's like, yes, this is a very, oh my gosh, man. I mean, hey, he's speeding up the pacing. I won't, I won't knock him. Oh my gosh. He could not make more noise though, dude. Like, what was the point of sneaking up then? What, there was actually no point. Even Zoro's freaking out and Zoro knows how ridiculous Luffy is. That was just silly. Well, now everybody and their mom knows that they're here. Yeah, at this point, they might as well take them off. Oh, it's gone. Straw hat. Oh. He's about to be alerted. Dude. Dude. Him taking out the, uh, taking off the outfit. Doflamingo's like, wait a second. He's like making the slow realization. <laughs> eh? <laughs> His face. Baby five. Yeah, that makes no sense, man. Oh. Doflamingo does not like being outsmarted like this. He 100% thought it was Luffy in the Coliseum still. Oh, Zoro's back. Is Kinemon back too? What's Kinemon? I was about to say, he just like stayed in the outfit, the, the suit. Oh, man. Where did Fujitora go? Bro. <laughs> I love seeing him pissed, bro. We have such a crazy big cast now. It's insane. You know, if there weren't another like 80 episodes in this arc on uh, on Crunchyroll, I would think it's
it's coming to a close soon. <laughs> it feels like we're just getting started here, baby. 669, let's get it. Oh my gosh, she clean with it. I kind of like Kinemon's fit too. I mean, he's been in disguise. Like, they've all been in disguise. Zoro's still kind of in his disguise. He's still got his suit on. I'm kind of fine when Zoro leaves the suit on though. It's, it's clean. Dude, I forgot. I keep forgetting about this Conjuro, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, him and her are going to go to the toy. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Meet up with Usopp, the soldier, all them. I mean, it's better they don't have all their eggs in one basket anyways. We got a dynamic duo here. Good luck, Kinemon. The Rampart Tower. Well, they're headed right for him. My gosh. It's like no one's able to stop him. They're just going to get to Doflamingo. And no one is there. Oh my gosh, is this Thriller Bark, bro? What, what could this be? Doflamingo's just like rampaging down the hallway towards them. They're in the walls! What the f... What is that, man? What is that? This is Thriller Bark! Oh my god, that's Pika's mask! The freaking helmet! What the... All right, the, the last executive is stepping in! Oh my gosh. What is this devil fruit? Yo, what is this? It looks like Pika. Oh my gosh. Eater of the stone, a stone assimilation human? What just combines with the stone? That's kind of gas, man. Oh, it's creepy. Whoa, it's like a whole raid boss, man. Dude, oh my gosh. Dude, he's enormous though. It's all stuff. I guess you could break stone. Like, to what extent can he, like, move and stuff? Just throughout, like, throughout stone? As long as stone remains, he remains? Oh, Luffy already broke him. I feel like he's just gonna, like, regrow. Yeah. Oh, nope. Oh, immediately. Immediately. Damn, that is sick. He's, like, a part of the castle. Merge with stones. Yo, he could go anywhere, be a part of anything. That is insane. That is insane. No, I see why he's an executive, bro. He can bring the walls in, close them in. As long as they're in the castle, they're in danger. Oh, his eyes. Dude, he hasn't even said a single word. Oh my gosh. Damn, that's crazy. Frankie is still fighting the world. Look at this Jiga Chad. <laughs> is he brushing his teeth two brushes my gosh he's so strong but why why a baby oh my gosh have some self-respect ladies oh oh papa's stepping in and then Frankie's just like, I'll play a song. <laughs> the pirate blues. There's like so many enemies around them and he just starts playing guitar. Uh, oh my gosh. Scrap! Frankie, run! Oh my gosh, this Chad. He is Hemothy Turner. Uh-oh. Senor Pink is on the move. Oh. He's, he was just doing a couple laps. Dog! Hard boiled isn't a thing! It's not a term you use to describe someone! Like soft on the inside, uh, hard on the outside? I don't understand. Squishy? I don't. <laughs> Look at the egg? If Frankie actually manages to like 1v50 here, uh, I mean, he is him. He could do it. I don't get the brandy still either. Doesn't budge an inch. Should he be moving? I like how Senor Pink is starting to like Frankie. Oh my gosh. Fire bullets? No! Frankie! The hair. Not if Senor Pink has something to say about it. Oh my gosh, this troll, dude. This troll, man. <laughs> 
What do you play that? What about his hair though? What are we switching to? Oh my gosh. No. Ah, that one's kind of gas. That's okay. We're back to the cannon. Bro, Frankie is just him. Damn, he said, come at me. And Pink is just watching still. What is he thinking? Meanwhile, Usopp and Robin. This place is enormous, man. <laughs> they got down there. They said, what's our job? Yeah, just push the toys around. Honestly, that's all we do. Go beat up that little child. Oh, that's where the junkyard is? Oh my gosh, that is so far underground. That's insane. That's what they fell down? Dang, bro. You think people would die from that fall? Holy. Treble. I just to see Goop and think it's Treble. Cavendish! No! No! Dude, what if Caribou and Treble fought? Oh my gosh, that would go crazy. That would go insano mode. My money is on Caribou. I don't care, bro. Treble's cummy cummy fruit stands no chance. Is Cavendish actually about to become a toy? Ugh. Ugh. Oh shoot, she has a little carousel in here. Ugh. Why does she have like an eye patch thing? Ugh, it's like snot. Ugh. She's saying that to him? Sticky, sticky fruit. No! No! Cavendish! Bro! No! Yeah, I still don't understand. Why is a soldier able to not have to follow orders? And nobody remember Cavendish. I keep forgetting about that part of it. Yeah. Dude. Oh, my poor boy falling from grace. Dude, it's like the fact that like you're trapped mentally too is so demented. And then he just put the work. This is your life now, Cavendish. Oh my gosh, Sai and Boo. Don't tell me that's Chin Chow. Oh, it's the fish man. He works with Koala. Elizabeth. They're all down here, bro. Dude, if they're actually able to take down uh, this this uh, girl sugar and like release all these people, they'd have an army down here, basically. Like it, it would it would turn on them. <gasps> they see them. Oh my gosh. Gonna use that against her? The hottest spice in the world. This is a Tata Babasco. Oh my gosh. Tested it on people? 18 almost died. They all just laugh. Guys, I'm gonna make the tough call. Just go kill her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> They're just gonna go put a, a, a hot berry in the pile and wait for her to eat it. You got this, buddy. People will be free. Dude, then everybody would remember them right away. It would be like an entire revolution. Will be revealed. Yeah, true. That was a cool shot. You got this, buddy. Get in there. Oh, here they go. I know there's literally like blue balls, like what that she's eating, but it's actually like a blue ball. Dude, Pika is crazy. I like the fact it seems like Pika is one of those like giant monsters that just doesn't talk. And it's a very good contrast to like Diamante. Diamante is very flashy, very just out there. Treble's kind of a creep. And then Doflamingo at the center of it all. Like they all have very contrasting seemingly personalities. I don't know, who knows? Maybe Pika will start to talk and this is just kind of introducing him. But what a crazy power because he could be anywhere at any point in time. And that's terrifying. I mean, th this castle is enormous, bro. And I wouldn't put it like past them to have information 
animation too, being able to like shoot through the walls of the entire castle and know what people are talking about and know what's going on. Like, can he take over sidewalks and stuff too? It's really a question of all that on how strong this guy is. Like the more that Dressrosa continues, the more that I'm like, okay, I can see like sides to this, but I have no idea who has the upper hand. Because while we are really undercover and like they're right there that close to sugar, I mean, the entire family is insanely strong. And I mean, insanely. But like I said, it might bite them in the butt, like how many people they've turned into toys, because if they're actually able to undo it like they think they can, then they have an entire army that they've created here in Dressrosa ready to revolt that would know the truth about everything that's happened. Literally setting themselves up for failure if anything at all happens to Sugar. I'm actually surprised there isn't more security besides freaking treble. But guys, that has been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.